So picking up where we left off, uh, you remember that uh, we had just made a call to the super set position method. So this is all in the pursuit of um, do not repeat yourself, right? Like dry. So um, don't. You shouldn't have multiplicative, like multiple lines of similar code, code that is already contained somewhere else. Uh, you can almost always rearrange things or structure things differently, such that. Um, you don't have to have multiple instances of the same code. So if you start to run into that, you should start to think, hmm, maybe I should do this again. And there are a lot of instances like that in the Brick Breaker game where, for the sake of simplicity, I had us multiplying uh, pieces of code that really shouldn't have been multiplied. There were better systems uh, in lots of different places there. Um, so I would invite you to go kind of think about that. We may actually do that as a class. Um, but we, so here we're calling position. Um, I'm sorry, one more thing about Brick Breaker, like since I'm talking about that, we should have had something similar to this in the Brick Breaker class, specifically for power-ups, um, because we were, like, those were both kind of ungainly and, like, also um, had lots of instances where the code was uh, overly, multi you know, repetitive. So, anyway, okay, not only do we have to set the position, but we have to think through what other methods uh, we want to um, adjust slightly, one of which is... Uh, the key pressed, uh, and yeah, the key pressed. So um, we don't have to do very much again, public void key pressed, because our key pressed method already is handling lots of the different keys, all the motion stuff for us. So if we go over to the uh, dead parent class, the key pressed method is handling um, up, down, right, and left. So again, in child two, we don't need to handle up, down, right, left. We just need to say if k uh, equals key event dot we just want to make we just want to handle the jump so we'll say if it equals space then we want to uh, set dy to jump but only if it's on the floor so we have to have a little if check here if the y position of our object is greater than or equal to the height of the floor which is inheritance dot or inheritance main dot height um, minus height minus 22 and remember 22 is not arbitrary 22 is the um, the the dimension of this like padding uh, above the top of a window at least on the Mac so if that is the case then we want dy to be set to jump so dy immediately becomes negative 25 in our case, or whatever value is stored in jump. So this is the force of the jump. Um, and then under, oh, under is selected, we need to do something slightly different. This wasn't set up exactly in the way that I would do it again, but um, public boolean, we're going to override is selected, is selected. So when someone selects this, we're going to take, uh, and you know what, I'm just going to go copy this from the parent class because there's a very this isn't exactly set up correctly uh, it's close though oh we just want if if something is selected um, if this thing is selected we want to set its dy to zero so um, and that's just like a well it'll work um, okay so we now have do we have a working Class at this point, it's hard for me because I started this tutorial like two hours ago and then uh, had to pick back up with this child two class. I believe that we do. Let's try and add one to our panel. So we'll just go up to our init method where we're adding entities and whatnot. And so this time, uh, because entities contains anything or can contain anything that is part of a dead parent class or extends a dead parent class, we're going to say new child two. And um, Child 2 shouldn't be blue. I realized it should be some other color. Let's say it's red. All right, so I have no idea if this is going to work. Let's try it out. Um, here it comes, and oh, yes, it is working. So we can move the blue one over. Is it jumping? The red one is our jump method. Is the red one even clickable yet? No, something is going on. Oh, it does jump. It just doesn't move side to side. Oh, this is a good lesson, actually. It doesn't move side to side because we had it headed into child two. Um, right now, this is uh, good, actually, that I screwed that up. 
So right now, if key pressed happens, this is all that's checked for because we're overriding key pressed, right? It's not in, we're saying like, don't do the dead parent key pressed one. Don't do this one because we've got a more specific one you want to ha I want you to handle. So it's it's like overriding. Do only this stuff. So what did we forget? We forgot to call super key pressed, super dot key pressed. Um, and now, uh, do we have to have key released? No, I don't think we need that. So, um, let's see it now. See if it moves side to side. Okay, so it falls, and this one works. And uh, if we press this one, it does move side to side, and it jumps. Great. Okay, so I think that's enough for this video, and you can slow it with up, or you can even have it do kind of a secondary up thing. Um, okay, that's enough for this video.